Good morning, everyone. Welcome you joining today's farming class. This is very special. We need to uh, pay attention to deep dive into this from class. And I hope you enjoy and learn. And let's start this meeting will be uh, mute. Everyone will be mute. And if you need to have any comments or question, please text into the chat box. Speaker will answer you during the Q&A section. Uh, for this time, I want to hand over to our committee member, Benedict, to introduce our speaker today. Benedict. Good morning, everyone. Hi, my name is Bernadette Burkett uh, with Pinnacle Real Estate Group. I'm here to represent Western Gabriel Valley Realtors Education Committee to introduce our speaker today, Annie Fan. Annie Fan is a sales executive and vice president of Chicago Title and has been in the title business and helping agents with title and farming since 2009. And she's fluent in Chinese and English. She's here today to deep dive in how to use the tools Chicago Title offers uh, on farming effectively and, and uh, efficiently. Let's welcome Annie Fan. Okay. Um, hi, this is um, Annie um, from Chicago Title. And then first I want to thank Western Gable Border Realtors and Pauline um, who gave me an opportunity to showcase what we offer. So during this pandemic, you know, um, I believe there are three types of agents needed to adapt and evolve these challenges. The first one will be the ones um, agents they do a lot of door knocking. Second will be the agents they host open houses to generate leads to do the lead gen. The third one, I strongly believe will be the ones they heavily depend on the referral only. Okay, so today, um, the class, I'm gonna go into three different components. The first one will be, um, I emphasize this is a this is golden nugget. It's teaching agents how utilizing our tool identify sellers who want to sell for the next six to twelve months. Okay, so this is kind of the big component to it. This is the I will say the major essence of today's um, today's sharing. And second, I'm gonna teach you another platform um, on how you can access the foreclosure data through our Chicago title system, okay? And how you could um, possibly find out, let's say the pre-foreclosures, um, such as, you know, usually the first, um, the first step will be they haven't paid their property tax. So we can identify that information, um, you know, uh, for you and then you can actually, uh, you know, utilize that and do lead generation. And on top of that, you can also do residential commercials and then it's very interactive and then you can you can get it right away and then you can download it into the system okay then the third one is going to be a um, final wrap up with um, teaching you uh, what other resources you can use for example we just come out with a new market analysis data so you can actually utilize this for your, let's say, drug campaign. And also you can do the, uh, um, the monthly comparables, okay? And also, let's say if you happen to be in the buyer side, when you close the transaction, doesn't matter, you know, if you're on the buyer side or listing side, your client's gonna move out of the, either move out of the house or move into the house. So we have this utility guys throughout Southern California, you can access to it. So you can help them hold their hands when they wanna set up all the utilities. And I'm also gonna introduce, uh, you know, two vendors um, not affiliated with the Chicago title um, in terms of the, the products line they offer. So this way it's all wrapped all around together. So now I'm gonna to share with you um, our tool. It's called the Active Farm CT. First, I'm going to do the share screen. If you have any questions, feel free to, um, you know, put it in the chat box. So first, I'm going to show you that this platform is called the um, Active Farm CT. So if you're interested in any of this stuff today, I'm going over. I would love to do a one-on-one -on -one meeting with you just to, um, you know, 
refresh your memory. So the first thing is, let's say, um, I'm just gonna um, do it as a basic, okay? Like teaching agents, let's say if you have a farm or you have an up and coming listings, how you can leverage. So first you'll click on the create a farm, okay? So this is gonna showcase that um, the, I will say the entire of, uh, like Los Angeles, um, counties in Southern California. So let's use as, use as an example, let's say if we're gonna do like Arcadia's, okay, you type in Arcadia's, then you click find addresses. So immediately now it's gonna showcase where the Arcadia map's gonna be. Okay, so today I'm gonna do it more like a detail so that you could actually see exactly, let's say when you have a um, listing, you want a farm, how that works. So let's say if we are um, having a listings, let's say right in Arcadia, then what we do is first you click this, first there's like a hand, right? Like then right here, there's like arrow to it. So you draw a shape, okay? And then first you just do this. So this is like Bowen Avenue, Bowen Avenue to Duarte Row to Santa Anita. So let's say we're gonna go all the way to like the hill, back to Baldwin Park, I'm sorry, Baldwin Avenue. So immediately right here, it's gonna calculate, okay? This is gonna tell you statistics right away. So now you see, based on what we draw right here, right? It's gonna show you right here, total properties based on your farm, it's gonna be 2,000 headcount, okay? Single family, 799, and condos, 926. So the TOR is the turnover rate. So what does a turnover rate mean? Is the total homes sold last year divided by the entire um, you know, property owner. So we know that Mike, um, Tom Ferry always talk about um, when you want to farm, you want to farm somewhere is, um, has to be about like 5%. Okay, so then, but we all know in Los Angeles County, typically it's between two to three percent. So we know that, hey, this condo is pretty good, right? So then what we do is once when we get this information, then we can actually um, get this data. So then we just click continue. So now you could pick which one you want to use. So let's say if we we got we we just saw the condo, the turnover rate is like four percent. I was like, hey, this is really good. So let's focus on that. Okay, so we click on condos, okay, and then immediately this will get count, okay? So then I just did that before, so I'm gonna showcase that. So instead of the um, condos, I'm gonna do single families. I wanted to show you a, a different comparison. So get count, immediately it's gonna tell you based on this one, the single family, we total we have a 799 record. So I could do Arcadia single family. So now I just create this farm and it takes you less than like two minutes. So now it's loading up the farm into the system. So now I just want to show you this morning, I ran this really quick. Okay, so the first one we talk about the Arcadia condo, right? Remember the turnover rate is like 4.1%. So then let's say, um, this is the most key thing is first you click on the farm you set up, okay, and then what it does is first we'll be having the farm name, you know, when you create it, and the farm grade. So then A will be a higher turnover rate, B is pretty average, C is kind of low. So then over here, if you don't want to create your own farm, you let us know. Our customer service can do it for you. So all you need to do is to shoot me an email saying, Annie, this is my criteria and we will run it for you. You don't even need to lift a finger because when you log into this, your farm is ready to go. So see right here, the type CS, that means it's, you know, done by customer service. Okay. And then right here is the turnover rate and then number of records, um, you know, when was the update, so which is today. So let's check out the Arcadia condo farms. So once when you click on the Arcadia condo farms, yes, there's like a phone number, an email address. So, you know, um, title companies, we bound by the RESPA. So um, for SB 133, we won't be able to 
um, provide that, but if you can buy it from the system, it's an outside vendor. So they pretty much charge uh, phone numbers like 25 cents. And um, you have to understand that the numbers we are providing, we didn't scrub the do not call. So once when you get it, you need to go to do not call uh, .org to scrub the list, making sure you know they are not on the do not call database. Okay, and then right here for the notice of default and notice of trusted sell, if you want to get that data, it's about a cents per lead, a cents per lead, and the phone number is about twenty five cents a lead. Okay, and um, the emails there, it's a platform, so you pretty much pay, let's say, like a twenty twenty dollars. Can can somebody mute the phone so then? Um, Okay, so then what you do is first we wanted to go look into the Go Farm. So first you, you go into the snapshot because we wanted to find out um, the seller is most likely to sell for the next six, 12 months. So that's the most important thing, right? But before that, I wanted to, you know, go through this with you. During the snapshot, this will give you statistics. Why it's so important, you know, just like your business and my business. It's all about the execution. You know, we might offer similar tools, but it's how you represent and how you execute. That's the most important thing. So then let's dive into this data. Okay, for this Arcadia condos from Duarte Row, St. Anita Avenue, and then Foothill and back to Baldwin Avenue. So this block, the turnover rate is 4.1%. Average year stay is 10.98. Why I'm you know breaking this up because we wanted to see right here, you want to see the comparison. The last 12 months when the buyers when they bought this property, the sole price was 705000 dollars Okay, so last year, the last 12 months, there were 38 of them. Okay, account for the total farms 4%. Why this is so important, I want to showcase to you that out of this farm what you needed to focus on, okay? So then we know that this complete farm, it's really good, why? Because the last year, the sole price was 705,000, right? But the entire farm, the average, the sole price back then when they bought it was 460,000. So that shows that there's a huge upside, right? Huge upside for, for you as an agent to, to target this area. So if you look at the gold farm, okay, this gold farm, the average sold price was 441,000, right? So we have a 71 record. And also the long-term homeowners. What does the long-term homeowners mean? Is the long-term homeowners, that means, see right here, it's gonna tell you, average they live in this property for over 13 years. So if, I, if I'm the agent, what I will heavily depends on will be go farm, people who are most likely to sell for the next six to 12 months, that's accounting for 8% of this farm and also the one, the long term. Okay, they've been in the, the area for over 13 years and plus. And also, because looking at the sole price, I was also looking for the out of state and the absentee. Why? Because they are not from this. First of all, the out, out of state, 22 of them, they are from another state. So, you know, nobody really touched base with them. So, just imagine if you do a drip campaign possibly like once a month or even twice a month um, when they want to sell, they probably will, you know, um, contact you. Why? Because if you look at here, the average stay year is 10. So let's say about 11 years, right? So then if I were you, I would target the long-term homeowners because average they stay there for 13 years. If this statistic shows average, you know, the seller, um, they're gonna start thinking to sell is 11 years. Of course, I'm gonna target the long-term owners who stay in the property for over 13 years, absentee owners, um, out of state, and then also the gold farm, okay? So now let me show you down here, there's gonna be a statistics, a statistics. Why it's so important to understand that, okay? This is not just for, you know, a nice graphs and chart. Why I like it? I, uh, particularly look into the uh, dollar amount of volume, sales volume, that would be a 10 years, and then the unit sold. So then in a tiny time frame, I will see 
instead of you know doing the one year right here okay if you're looking at the one year it shows that uh, about like a 2019 um, you have more units it's kind of odd like selling right but then if you do a 10 year time frame for the volumes dollar of volumes and the number of soul that you can see dramatically the changes that right now right it's going down to let's say about i would say like 30 units but then typically when you go all the way down and then you will go back up so it's a good sign that if you wanted to target this farm um there's a lot of potentials and then what you want to do is you want to think about how you're going to market this farm right because people all they care about is how much my home is going to you know sell so then you can actually utilize all this stuff so right here it's going to show you okay for the condos right this is the condo we're targeting so the owner occupy it's about 3.13 right the turnover rate so then right here you know it will tell you more about um for this condos the new homeowners on the occupy it's about 67 percent right uh, so you know majority of them they live in this area so what you want to do is you wanted to if you want to do any um you know marketing you can hover onto this uh, down arrow and then you can download this this graph into like jpeg or pdf and then instantly you can you know make it quick and very simple like a marketing pieces you can post on your you know social medias or you can actually do it you know mass text to all your clients so then there's a um app it's really good app you wanted to think about it's called the um hit m up h-i-t u-m u-p why because you can do mass text to everybody so the beauty of this is you can allow, it allows you to use emoji so let's say you have like a thousand contacts start with like annie like miguel whoever so when you run the uh, mass text it, see, it will make people look like oh you're um actually sending out um every single one so the hi annie blah 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 with the, your emoji everything so you can just send it out and then you can actually utilize this and then send it out and then that's like very um you know useful um so then now let's go into the go farm okay so if you ever need this information right all those charts and stuff you can export it into a pdf right here so then you can actually right here this is a pdf so then you can actually you know if you have a um like a photoshop or you can actually you know make it into your own and right here, there's going to be a three pages. So you can target specifically for this farm because people love, you know, as a human being, we love the, um, um, you know, the numbers and then um, to see the visuals. Any questions so far? Okay. So now let's dive into the Go Farm. Okay. So this is a Go Farm. So right here, I wanted to show you that first, this complete farm is 926, right? So then this once when you click this go farm, the algorithm is gonna start looking and then do the calculation. So we have about 50 data points. It's gonna showcase and let you know who are the sellers most likely to sell for the next six to 12 months, okay? So it could be the number of years they stay in the properties, their loan amount, you know, um, what's their LTVs and have they done refi before. So all that combined, then we come up with this. So remember this farm was 926, right? But then if you look at right here, the gold farm, we only found 71 of them. 71 of them will be the ones they most likely to sell for the next six to 12 months. So you wanna see the entire record, you just click on here, show and then you know, 25, 50, or 100, because this one is only 71 records, right? So we pretty much got everything here. So let's say um, if you wanted to see if there's any like email addresses or phone numbers, and then 
um, you know, apparently they don't. If you click here, if there is, then you will see there's like a checkpoint on here. So you're going to say, hey, Annie, so now I get this information, like what can I do about it? So let's say if you are using any CRMs, right, the customer relation uh, management, um, let's say if you are CRMLS members, and then you can actually have the access to the basic lion desk, right? It's on your CRMLS. Um, right here, just click right here, okay? It's going to allow you to do, um, download this file, okay? And then let's say if you wanted to, you know, start your marketing campaign on the postcards, you wanna do it every month, you can download this format into a core fact. So the core fact, what this is, it's a um, printing company, and the, um, this, the beauty of this one is when you send out your postcards, they have a tracking, tracking uh, device. What it does is that whenever you send out to every single homeowner, they get their own customized, their own customized um, comparable map. So this way that, you know, if they wanted to find out, oh, okay, how much my home's been sold, there's gonna be a surround, uh, sold uh, comps in the map. In order for them to access to that, they needed to, you know, log into the website and then enter a key code. So this had, this companies they pretty much mail out, um, I would say between three to four million postcards each year. They do nothing but real estate uh, printing. So then they've done the study, they figure out if you don't ask any help and then continue. So once we call, then instantly that you're going to um, get the, uh, you as an agent or get the notification, let's say uh, 620 West Huntington Drive, you know, 119, like any fan just went on your listings to check out the surrounding comps. Then you need to come up with a aggression aggressive drip campaign to convert this lead. So it's all about your conversion, but you needed to figure out how, you know, you could convert this lead because in order for this homeowner to log on the computers and get into the website and checking out the stuff, there must be some type of motivation. You needed to basically convert that lead. Then if you do um, your, you know, co calls, you can download this format into the Vulcan 7 or if you have the top producers. And what I like about this one is the download Facebook audience. Because you know, now with this pandemic, we all have to evolve and adapt. So now the um, social media is extremely important. Um, so what happened is that for the Facebook, when you wanna run your ad, they have a specific format for you to do that. I've done um, Facebook ad too. Yes, you're gonna think, oh, title web, why you want to do that? Well, it's pretty much just stay in front of the client. So I run Facebook ad too. And um, every month I spend closer to $500 to learn from social media coach, um, how I can, you know, uh, stay on top of the game in the social medias. So this is a really unique feature that allows you to, you know, convert the format into the Facebook audience. Or if you're working for, let's say, Keller Williams, they have the KW Command, you know, uh, format, you do the Compass, you know, they have that Ryan Desk, I'm talking about the same thing, market ex marketing expert, that is the, um, you know, for the uh, CRM. So you can send it to our customer service, we can take care of it, we can print labels for you. If you would like to do everything yourself, you can print your um, labels yourself too. Um, so there's like a different ones, but what I love about is this, this system allow you to instantly, okay, you can do a mail, mail, um, mail merge letters. So let me show you this. So instantly, this is a program you pay about, I would say, um, like a $12 a year. So it allows you to access, I would say like 44 different um, letters. So let's say if, this is the one, um, you know, I am going to try to target, then I will be um, 
picking up one of the letters. It could be the introduction letters, right? So then right here, I would just click right here. So then I, I can preview this letter. You can definitely change it, everything, but instantly, okay, this letter is ready. And then I can actually do mail merge to every single one of them from the system. So right here, we were doing the introduction letter, right? Um, let me show you really quick. So if you want to mail merge all letters, you can do so. And this is a very self-explanatory and then it just teach you, right? You just click on this and then you can go into the previous. So this is one of the ways you can actually do the farms. So that's pretty much for the Go Farms. That was what I was talking about. Um, let's say if um, you are interested in doing that, okay? And this, this feature allows you to identify people who are most likely to sell um, for the next six to 12 months. If you're interested in, I would love to meet with you one-on-one -on -one because you could definitely leverage when you have a listing or when you just close the transactions. You can find out the neighbors who are most likely to sell for the next six to 12 months and do that. And, and this one has a probate data too. So for the live event, okay, it's about like $5. So let me show you this. So let's go back to the Arcadia condo farm. Okay, so right here you see the marriage, okay, birth, death, divorce, they all cost like $5 per life event. Okay, so let's say, um, let me show you for the probate, it's the same. So basically what you do is you will utilize your credit card, you will like load it up in the system. Okay, so you will have this credit. Okay, so let's say I'm just doing a demo. I'm showing you the probate data I got. Okay, when, you, when I click over here, so what I did was um, about a couple months ago, I ran it just to make sure I fully understand how we provide those systems. So right now, what I did was I ran like in the Monterey Park, South Pasadena, Alhambra, right? So um, for, I would say between January to May, I ran like five months, right? So then we got about 17 right here, 17 probates. Okay, so what does it look like in terms of the probate leads from this system? Because you have to pay, right? Like um, probate data, we don't have that as a title company. Um, so you're paying from this outside vendor. So let me show you what it looks like. So this one is in Monterey Park. So it's gonna show you the docking number, that's the probate number, okay? And then um, it's gonna tell you um, who's the one uh, deceased, right? And right here, it's gonna show you that when this person passed away, um, you know, when the deceased, um, you know, passed away, what was the property address? It's in Monterey Park. And um, who's the, um, you know, surviving spouse? And then right here, I, what I really like it is give you the attorney contact information, right? So maybe, maybe this time you wouldn't be able to give this, this deal, but you can start getting the probate attorneys, the one actually doing deals. And then you can collect those contact information and form relationship and alliance with them. So then let's say in the near future, when they have deals, you know, you might be um, one of the preferred vendors you can work with them. Okay, so this is pretty much the um, information I want to present, but then I wanted to um, go over another tool, which is um, coming from Chicago Title. But first, let's go back to showcase um, this one really quick. So when we were looking at this Arcadia single family, remember we were looking at the um, Turnover rate was really low. So it was only 2.75%, right? So then, um, then most people, when they're looking at the turnover rate, if it's like below 3%, they just skip to it. But then I was thinking there might still be opportunity for us to look into this farm. Why? Let me show you that. So it shows like average, right? Say it's about 13 years. So it's similar to what we have. Remember the long-term homeowners um, basically, it's the property owners live there for more than 13 years. So we know the average, you know, the sole price in this area 
um, when they bought it was like 900,000. So let's look at here. Let's do a deep dive. So the last 12 months, this area, right, from Duarte Row, Santanita Avenue, uh, the Hill, and then Baldwin Avenue, the sold price is about 1.3. So the recent buyer is the recent buyer who bought the homes right here, okay? It's about 90 days, right? So then most likely, um, those people, they bought it for 1.2. So we know there's still um, opportunities for us to target. Why? Because this entire farm for 799 of them, you know, the average sale price is $900,000. So that means, you know, looking at the equities, right? Like the sale price is 1.3. That means they're still closer to like $400,000 uh, in the equity those people can target. So then since we know the average stay year is 13 years, so obviously first, I'm gonna look at the gold farm, right? Those are the people who most likely to sell for the next six to 12 months. I'm gonna target this. And also for the long-term homeowners, why? Because, you know, average, they stay there for 13 years. And the long-term homeowner, they stay over 13 years. So, you know, in some case, they are probably gonna start looking at selling their homes. So even with the absentees and out of absentee, I wouldn't say the out of state, because if you look at the out of state, the price has already gone up to 1 million. So for me, I want to make sure every penny I, I spend is going to get worthwhile. So that if I were you, I will target the owner occupy. Okay. And then I will target the go farm. I will target the long-term homeowners. Okay. So let me show you what it looks like and even the absentee. So let me write it out quickly. So we're going to do the, let's say if I'm the agent, I will do the long term, right? And then go farm. And also I'm going to do probably the um, absentee owner and, um, you know, on occupy. So let me show you that. So right now, if you want to take a look at here. So first we're going to do the long term homeowner, right? So we just click right here. So instantly it's going to show me out of the, long-term homeowners, there's about 234 of them, right? So then some has the email, some has the phone numbers. So all I need to do is to get this data in the system right here, okay? And what you can do is you can, if I, I'm gonna run an ad on Facebook, I can just you know instantly go into the Facebook audience or if I'm just gonna simply download the information, I can do so. See, I'm just um, showing you what this looks like on the uh, Facebook audience format, okay? So the next one, I'm gonna do the Go Farm. So the same thing, right? Go Farm, you click on Go Farm, and then you will retrieve every information through here. And then the, Next one is the absentees. And then I will retrieve everything right here. So that's how when I do a farm, not just looking at the general data, I will you know, analyze that. And then the, the key thing is uh, some agents are gonna be like, oh, I wanna farm 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. And then you have to understand that the larger of your, um, like farms, the less, I will say, um, you know, the, I will say the less of, um, um, how would I say, the less like analytical, um, it's going to be um, like a re relevant. So I will say, I will say probably between like, well, like we know, uh, let's say Tom Ferry talks about idea farms between, um, idea farms between 250 to 500. And then, can somebody mute your your um, your your call? Um, or um, you want to just stay below like one thousand to two thousand? Because if you do a three, four, five thousand, this data is not going to be um, you know relevant. Okay. Um, and then this, um, if you wanted to ever get it, it's like the properties they have sold for the next next you know, the last 90 days, and then they already, you know, do it for sale already. So those will be the investors. If you wanted to work with the investors, that will be the ones you can, you know, um, take a look at it, okay? 
and um, the list is the list of the properties. Now, now it's like on the market uh, from your farm. Um, and then this one is a previous like properties been listed. And then this equities, um, it's pretty much telling you um, whether there's like, um, you know, like positive equity or like negative equities. Okay, so um, this is pretty much um, the system. But then now I'm going to move it to another system um, because I think if you wanted to get the foreclosure data, you may. Okay, so then I can showcase that. So um, let me showcase the other site. So this is the Chicago Title site. Um, it's very easy. It's a Chicago Title um, dot com. So then let me showcase what it does for you. Okay, so. Let's say whenever you want to get, let's say, foreclosure data, you know, now typically you get that from the, um, like typically what you do is you get it from the, like a property radar, so you have to pay, right? But then through Chicago Title, you don't. So we have this right here. So you click on right here, okay? Like the products. So the products, um, let's show me, let's show you this. You got a quick quick menu really quick. So the quick menu, what I really like about this one is it allows you to, um, well, let's, let's go back, let's go back. Because, so um, let's go to the e-farm. So let me show you really quick on um, the important one that you can actually, you can actually found the, um, the foreclosure data, okay? Okay, so this is very easy. Now you can see everybody right here. So let's say the same thing, okay? Let's say we maybe um, target, um, first you want to do cities, right? You can go to different cities. So let's say, for example, in um, West San Gabriel Board of Realtors is in San Gabriel. So let's find San Gabriel. Then we're gonna find uh, the type of property. So in San Gabriel, it's about 15,000 properties, okay? So then let's say, if we're only going to do single family, I mean, you can do different properties you want, but I'm just using that as an example. So then we're just going to the property type, right? Property type, we were going to the residential, okay? And then single family residence. So it's going to drop down from 15,000 to 10,000, right? So then we're going to go into... Sorry, Annie, we lost your sound. So let's say... Oh, can you, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you can now. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Uh huh. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So let's say if you wanted to, um, okay, thank you. If you want to look at the uh, pre foreclosure, a lot of people are like, hey, we don't want to go into foreclosure. Usually, the first thing is if you haven't paid the property tax, right? So then we click on the delinquent tax. And then we just add that. So it dropped down dramatically. So let's say for single families, right? People they haven't paid the property tax, there's like 242 of them. So let's say if this is something I want to do, then instantly I will go into next. Okay. And I can download this data right away. So first I will do this, right? And then I wanted to add more information. So right here, down right here, I can do so. So we'll be right here. So we will get the owner's contact information, such as, you know, like, let's say the year bill, the zip, right? And um, let's say the street number, um, street name. And right here. So the owners, you can do the owner's name, right? Like right here. So owner's name will be um, owner's first, owner's full name, right? Like owner's second, owner's like full name. And then we also wanted to find out the mail address, state, city, like that. So in the last slide, So 
this way you can get now. So you click over here and then you can change. So this is gonna be, you know, San Gabriel, right? Pre closure. So I've seen it. And then I get now. So instantly it's gonna ask me, do you want an Excel file, PDF, CSV? So typically we'll do CSV. If you want a label, you can click on that. So download, so instantly you can download this. See, instantly you get this. So right here, you know what you're getting into. So you click on view orders. And then let's say this is the one I want, so I can download right away. So it's gonna pop up right away. So then, you know, um, in no time, I get this data and then I can actually, right, um, do like a mail merge campaign or do postcards and, you know, different things. Then we can do another one. Let me show you. So now let's use, utilize, let's say, um, Alhambra. Okay. And then there's like an instant list. So let's say if you want to do like free and clear, right? You want to target the people. Um, they don't have any mortgages. You can do so. So first let's do um, Alhambra. Let's do property type. To residential if we I mean I just like to do single family then you see um, Alhambra it dropped down dramatically for the single families there's about nine ninety eight hundred and then we're gonna add the instant list so then if we want to do like free and clear no mortgages instantly we can find out okay um, this based on this criteria is 1548 so once when you get this you can actually do it um, another criteria it's you can find out the number of years they stay so let's say out of this 1500 if they stay in this property for over 30 years most likely they already at the age of a baby boomers and then we know that baby boomers um and we witness now in this era that there are a lot of wealth transfer from one generation to another generation. So you can see that out of this 1548, then we can buy, we can cross reference to people who own their properties for over 30 years. And then you're gonna get your baby woman sleep, right? So then you can target them and educate them about Proposition 60 and 90, because a lot of people they don't know about. So what is Proposition 690 is you have to be owner occupied lived in the property age 55 older so that will be fit into this farm criteria so let's say if i bought this home in alhambra 30 years ago i bought it for a hundred thousand dollars now i can sell this home to seven hundred thousand dollars my son lives in pasadena i'm getting old i wanted to be closer to my son so i can sell this seven hundred thousand dollars home and buy a small condo in pasadena because of a I bought this property 10, uh, 30 years ago at $100,000, property tax 2% increase every year. So maybe now my property tax bracket, I'm only paying at $300,000 to $350,000. Okay, so by using Proposition 60, I can take advantage of my existing property tax bracket, which means when I buy a condo for, let's say, um, $600,000, I don't need to pay for $600,000 property tax. I can take advantage of Proposition 60 that allows me to get, to pay $350,000 property tax, tax bracket in my existing one. So this way I can, you know, um, get what I need and then be closer to my family. So this is just a kind of quick way to showcase that what, you can do with your farm, right? It's all about execution. Like you, but you needed to kind of think about with your personality, with your experiences, like are you, um, you know, click with the baby boomer generation or are you more click with a millennial or, you know, different ones. So you just needed to, um, you know, figure it out. So then let's, um, so now let's go back into um, Chicago Title. And I'm about to wrap up, okay? So 
um, I wanted to showcase you um, their couple um, services I think really going to help you. So first you want to go to the, um, let's say the uh, um, quick menu. Okay, the quick menu has one right here. Menu right here, let's say um, a city utility website. Okay, but then like the information, what you can do is you can actually click on Chicago Title Marketing Material. So we have a tons of Chicago Title Marketing Materials you can utilize. Okay, and then, um, or you could do is, um, you can do, let's say if you're working with a lot of uh, uh, Spanish speaking, you can utilize that. Oh, we have even have a Chinese website. Okay, if you need like title and escrow, all that information is right here on the website. So you just need to go into chicagotitle.com. Um, but then let's say you Helping your client buy or sell a home when they move. Okay, so then we have this website allows you to access to the entire of Southern California, the utility information. Um, it comes in handy. So, for example, if you just close a deal, okay, let's say if we just close a deal in um, like Los Angeles County and then I close the deal in Azusa, I just click Azusa and then it will showcase. The Azusa's, um, you know, the libraries, cables, you know, the trash company, water company, electricity company. So then I can give it to my client right away. And then if you have a Photoshop, you can actually brand it to yourself, right? So that comes in really handy. Or let's just one more thing. Let's say if you just close a deal um, in San Bernardino County, right? And then maybe you close a deal in uh, Rancho Cucamonga's. You click right here, Rancho Cucamonga, it's going to give you all the utility contact information. You can give it to your clients. It doesn't matter if sellers or buyers, when they move out, you know, they need this. Okay. Um, and one last thing um, is right here. I wanted to show you is the services it does is now you don't even need it to think about the marketing so this one we already automatically do it for you like um, pretty much um, so once when you lock in what I lo love about this is there's like different criteria right whether it's a residential condos like you know um, it's going to um, break down into different ones so then let's say if you wanted the activities so then let's say if we are um, doing, let's say like a Los Angeles County, there's like different counties, right? So then let's say you are targeting uh, your farm area is, let's say maybe uh, right here, like if it's Alhambra, then what it does is allows you to generate this, this report. Okay, I know it's August, but um, September, I know it's gonna come out this, um, this week. So then basically it will give you all the statistics and then you can just do branding yourself, all your clients. It's going to tell you what the average sales price, average list price, the graph and charts, even the, um, you know, the information on um, the, the listings and stuff and then the price per square footage, you know, the over Ray, I think mainly it's a how many homes sold and then all that information. I think it, it comes in handy to basically you don't need to do the analysis. You can just um, you know let the report speak by itself. And so um that's pretty much, you know, the um, the presentation today. But one last thing I wanted to show you is the uh, it's called Moving Guru. Okay, this is nothing related to Chicago Title, but I just thought it's nice to get to to kind of share with you. So then you wanted to do is that you wanted to sign this up. Why? Because um, what they do is um, 
they have this um, um, marketing drip thing. It's an email campaign. So once when you sign, and it's free. Once when you sign the, um, your client, and then periodically, like every quarter, they will get like this kind of maybe Home Depot or whatever, you know, and then the entire thing is free. But then uh, it's going to be coming from you. So then you can kind of you know, always provide value and then, you know, it's going to be the drip campaign. Um, I know now it's like 1154. So I uh, wanted to, um, you know, wrap this up and then thank everyone to participate today. Um, if you have any questions and then I'm here to answer all your questions. Benedict. Oh, okay. Oh, let's see. Hold on. I think we have a few questions here. Okay. Um, okay. First one, let me see. Mm -hmm. uh, I think some people have a questions about the services your, uh, your company charges. So um, for the, um, uh, the first one, I think this is that Sylvia asking how much per year. So for the mail merge, it's $12. I believe it's $12 a year. But then oh, mail -er? okay. Yeah, but the rest of the stuff, I'm, um, I presented to you is free. So then unless you want to do email, phone number, or like the mail merge, it, it's going to cost you. Or the live event, like, you know, we don't have access to like divorce, like a probate, um, mm -hmm. birth, um, death, but the rest of it is all free. But what does Mailer do? You, you Mailer, so basically, we set out like about 44, um, like a template uh, for the, you know, the, the letters. So you don't even need to rewrite it. You just click and then merge the data and then ready to go. I mean, you don't need to do that. You know, you don't need to spend the money. All you need is to download this, this data. And then if you already have an existing template, you can just do mail merge on your own. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay. Um, also, can you search data for property that are free and clear to better pinpoint marketing efforts? Yes, we just show you that, right? Yeah, um, I think I saw it too. Yes, we we'll just yeah. show you. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, what's another one? Uh, how do you open a, uh, the account with you? It, do we need your authorization to do yeah, that? Yeah, so let me, um, let me put down my contact information and then if you wanted to set it up, let me know. Um, so I just put my contact information. Um, you can, you know, send, send me your um, email. I think email will be best to let me know your contact information. I will set it up and then we can do a one-to-one -one meeting. So this way I can go over that with you because I know today we have only one hour. So um, I kind of go very quickly on the um, information, but I try to go as much detail as I, I could to kind of showcase, um, to, to share, with, um, share with everybody. Oh, great. Um, I don't see any other questions on the on chat. Um, unless somebody else has a question, please raise your question right now. Sylvia has a question. Sylvia has a question. No, I think she asked about a price list uh, for the services. Yeah, I think she answered that already. Um, no, she just typed again and she said she has a question. Oh, okay. Um, I haven't seen it. Oh, she can't unmute herself. Uh -huh. Mom, can you unmute Sylvia? Okay, now I, I'm on mute now. Hi, okay. um, Annie. Yes, I have a question. You mentioned about the probate $5, but I didn't get $5 for what? So for the $5, that's like a life event. So let's say if you want to do divorce, you want to do like a birth, you want to do probate, um get in, like marriage those are five dollars per lead oh per lead okay per lead yes. that's the that's the question okay per lead okay that's what i needed to know thank you oh you're welcome you're welcome so then andy has a question can i give an update on the tools like the app yes so um chicago title we do have an awesome app okay so we have three apps the first one is Chicago Title Now, allows you to um, run the property profile nationwide. You can pull the documents such as a 
the things we ever want to look for like a possibly like a reconveyance or either plus a grantee you can email to your client right away um that's the tool for you and um you can even run a vacant land um the second one is the chicago agent chicago agent what it does is it's a mass sheet mass sheet app and it allows you to um convert into different languages um so let's say if you are on the listing side, you've got multiple offers. That's what we're seeing every day that allows you to do, run a side-by-side -side comparison on all, all the offers. So you can showcase to your seller. You can generate that in less than three minutes. It's very easy to crank out the numbers. Um, and that one also has a social media component to it. So let's say if you ever need to, let's say, um, you know, you have listings, right? Now we see a lot of agents make their sellers or buyer uh, holding that so sign in front of the property and you don't even need to do, do that we have a different template all you need to drive by and take a picture the template will show showcase whatever the property it has different lenses so it could be like just listed just so you know congratulations on the um you know the, the new house or even now it's a um you know a Halloween is coming up so we have a different one so you can utilize this and you know uh, take a pictures and promote yourself um you can post it on wechat or all the social media and it's very robust and you see a lot of agents are doing that um the third one is the the walking farm mainly is for hosting open houses and um you know for the uh, um like door knocking but during th this time probably that's not going to be um you know um, suitable but the other two I think definitely is gonna um, very helpful so if you um, interested in let me know I would love to connect with you do a one-on-one -on -one. and um, thank you so much and then I just found on happy birthday Pauline <laughs> and Fong thank you so much yes, thank you Fong. everyone I'm so yeah. happy to have all of you join today's class, okay? Especially, Benny, um, you give us um, a wonderful detailed information. I, I will go with you, okay? I need to do farming, um, get some more listing for prepare the, the next year, right? 2021. And by that time, um, right now, I want you, everyone, join our every classes to learn and tomorrow we have a special free class that's already put in the chat box. Uh, that is a free class from RRC CRS Certified Residential Specialist Council. Have a free class. I think this one is very good. How does California's legal environment affect the real estate market? And next Tuesday, we have a 1031 exchange advanced class by Field Owens. Uh, don't forget that that's why it's very important. And next week uh, we have a uh, CAR reimagining uh, virtual conference and expert. Many, many free classes there. You need to register and enjoy the time. But for the second, third weeks, I want to share with you, we have very strong and very good national coach. Welcome come to talk with us. Uh, Mark on your calendar, October 28th, uh, Tuesday. Oh, this is Mark Wu, I'm sorry. That is a uh, saver at home. Mark Wu will give us a difference for the condo and regular single house uh, insurance difference. And remember October 23rd, Friday, 2 o'clock, Mr. Mark Even, national speaker, coach, will come to talk to us, selling in a social distance world very informative and very good one. And October 27, Tuesday, 11 o'clock, we have Shelly Cofini talk about short sale and forbearance. Uh, many good classes are upcoming, uh, arranged for you. Don't miss anyone, join us together. And I want to thank Annie for your wonderful time with us. On behalf of West and Gabriel Valley Realtor Education Committee, we especially thank for you, give us the second class this year. We want to uh, yeah, learn from you, you. So thank you. And I want to thank Benita and Mindy and everyone, Mel and Fang, and all my good friend Lucia here. Thank you so much. We have a good time today and have a happy, safe time and see you tomorrow in RRC. CRS class if you have time tomorrow 12 o'clock.
this meeting is now adjourned. Happy, happy day, everyone. Thank you.